What is up everybody, welcome into this new video to Express. Let's take a look into how you can add your Google Search Console into your Shopify. So first of all, you wanted to check it out what is exactly Google Search Console. So if I open Shopify and leave it like that, I'm gonna open it up and look out for search.google.com. This one is gonna be helping us, this is a tool that can help us to measure our site search traffic and performance, fix issues, make our site more, let's say, discoverable into the Google search. So let's say, for example, that I have an account of TechPress. So if I type TechPress, you can see that we are not appearing into the upper side of Google Search Console. Let me just scroll a little bit down. And as you can see, TechPress um, appears a little bit down here. So what I wanted to do is to try to, let's say, to improve my account. I wanted to have TechPress appear into the very first part of Google. So this is why we wanted to add Google Search Console into our Shopify store. So what I want to do is to go into Start Now, inside the Google Search Console, of course. And really important, you, of course, need to have an actual Gmail account in order to continue. So what I wanted to do is to get started here. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to go and add a new property. So whether this is a domain or a URL fixed. So domain is for all subdomains across HTTPS and DNS verification. If you don't know how to use the DNS verification, for example, uh, you have a domain, whatever, just focus into the URL prefixed. This is why I wanted to go back into my Shopify. And here I wanted to look out for my online store. Since this online store is just like, um, an example, I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it in here. Now I'm gonna hit into continue. They're gonna be choosing to verify the document here. So in order to verify the ownership, there's a few ways of how we can do this. For example, is to adding a HTML tag, Google Analytics, the Google Tag Manager, or the no main domain name provider. So how can we get started in here? So let's say that the most easiest way is to add a Google Analytics, for example. So if I hit into verify, what I want to do is to just leave this like that. The Google Analytics method is going to be helping us a lot to get started with. Let's go back into our Shopify. And here, what you wanted to do is to look out for your online store. Inside your online store, we have the preferences. So if I scroll all my way down, I might see that I have Google Analytics in here. So in order to have a code, I'm going to manage my pixel here. This one should be sending us directly into this new section. So I can get into add sales channel. This one is going to be helping me to add Google directly into my actual Shopify. So I know there might be a few steps that there's a lot, but actually it's not that, not that difficult. So go into connect your Google account. I'm going to hit into connect, allow, which in our case, the last thing to do is to connect a Google Analytics property. In this case, we don't have any property. So let's go into create our new property. If this one sends you directly into your Google Analytics, then you're actually good to go. If not, just focus into Analytics into the upper side, sign in. I have my Google Analytics property, which is this one, the one that we have just created. So we can go into Connect. You have successfully set up your Google Analytics number four, and we are now ready to list our products into Google to drive sales and reach more customers. So I'm gonna hit now into Get Started. And this is the last part. The last part is just to create an online store, add a refund policy in terms of services, and confirm that you have added contact information to your online store. So just as that, uh, our information should be added automatically if I go directly back into my analytics. And there we go. Here we have all our performances. Since we have just added this, um, let's say, five seconds ago we don't have any performances zero total web search clicks indexing full report but i can see everything about the performance the url inspection uh, pages side maps removers and much more so once again it wasn't actually that hard but you needed to download out a few steps in order to add those into your actual store Everything comes directly from the Google and YouTube application setup. Once you have added all of this info, the rest is actually really, really simple. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great toes of the actual Shopify. 
and the Google Search Console. Thank you so much for watching the video and hopefully I can see you on the next video.